No making a snowman out of your breakfast. Just eat it. All right, guys. I like this. Um, going down the line, in honor of Graham Kathleen's new baby, give the worst possible advice you can to the new parents. Uh, give terrible parenting advice, Serge. Uh, babies are really just like dogs. Um, so a lot of the behavior you could uh, you could find in training a dog, you could do with a baby. Uh, so I recommend if they if they make a mess, rub their face in it. Mm -hmm. um, and for discipline, uh, get a spray bottle or a whistle. <laughs> I like the spray bottle. Yeah. All right, <laughs> bad baby. <laughs> All right, that sounds good, Matthew. Babies love the touch of a mother's skin, so make sure that the blankets that you're rolling them up in is some other mother's skin. Wow. <laughs> well, that is, that's, that's, that's messed up, dude. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Time to go home and sleep. All right. Um, weird. Wow. Ben? Uh, get in, uh, learn to play Magic the Gathering. It totally won't be a slippery slope that will suck up the rest of your life. <laughs> Megan? Um, babies are actually, like, they have this really cool, like, I guess it's like an evolutionary kind of, like, tactic in that their bones are made of rubber for the first three years. <laughs> they drop them, totally fine. They just bounce. Yeah. yeah. Paul? Uh, yeah, uh, babies, uh, their, their, their head, uh, it's because the, their head is large, quite large in comparison to the size of their body, the, the ratios. And so they're kind of like a wibble wobble in terms of, you know, they're basically they'll always like write themselves if you, if they get, if they drop or, or, uh, or you, you know, push them over, they're just like whoop, 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 and go back upright. So feel free to just play around with that as much as, as much as you want. They'll be fine. <laughs> Weird too. You guys are all weird. What do you got? This is bad well, advice. I'm a mom, so <laughs> what can I say that's not like horrific? <laughs> they get, they've got horrific covered. You're, you're, the kid's not here. You can um, be as horrific if you, as you'd like. Oh, I, well, okay. So just feed them plenty of high fructose syrup <laughs> juice. Not natural. Mm. You know, just. What about just straight you, syrup? You want yeah, the, there you go, syrup. You yes. want the, yeah, you yes. want the percentage uh, of Make juice. Make happy. The, the percentage Ish. of uh, fruit in the in the juice to be like 5% or lower. Exactly. Yeah, that seems decent. Oh, this is a baby, right? Yeah. Yes. Oh, skip the syrup, go straight to honey. Yeah, just, yeah, that's a good idea, oh, just straight yeah, to honey. because honey's not really um, <laughs> I don't have any advice for your baby, but... <laughs> You know your wobbly table? I hear babies are great for straightening that all out, mm. so that's probably the best use. Uh, engineering, what do you got? But that, that's using the okay. baby's natural carpentry abilities, too. Oh, yeah. But, but, but. I, I don't actually, um, yeah. Little known fact, which way? This way, so you're on that demo. You're out of shot right now. <laughs> move move, move toward. The there you go, you're in shot down. now. Yay. Um, little known fact, the end boss of Half-Life 1 in Nyland was based on a baby. So basically, use the same strategy what you're going to want to do, uh, first of all, there's going to be some crystals mounted around the room. Shoot those with the <laughs> rocket launcher. Uh, avoid the teleportation uh, orbs that he's going to be shooting at you. <laughs> then, once you've done that, his head is going to open up, and there's going to be a glowing orange field inside. Um, you can get on the jump pads to fly up, and you can either just shoot the glowing orb with a machine gun, or if you really want to do it properly, you ought to use the crowbar and hack at that. Of course, then once you've done that, you're going to teleport into the tram from the beginning of the game, <laughs> and the G-Man is going to offer you a job which you should take because then that segues into Half-Life 2. What's, I mean, that's basically the last chapter of what to expect when you're expecting. It is, yeah. So yeah, you don't really need to buy that. <laughs> a new edition, anymore. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, on that. Wait, what? Easy. Ball pit. Bop it. Bop it? It's a bop it. Yeah. Bop it. Twist it. Turn it. Pull it. Baby. Eat it. <laughs> yeah. Eat it. Um, be completely inconsistent with withholding your love and praise. <laughs> <laughs> That's getting a little too real there, guys. <laughs> I, I've heard that for extended camping trips, they make a great way to store your food and keep it fresh. Like chickens. Mm. 
But first you get into it though. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you do the. You put it over the the. Hang it from a tree. Hang it from a tree branch. Yeah. You need to make sure to put a bell on them because that helps to keep some of the animals away. Yeah. So realistically, you just put the baby in the bear garbage thing. How it's safe in there? They don't have their claws can't open. Yeah. Exactly. You have to keep your baby safe from bears. I've heard if you're into medieval reenactments and you want to fire the cannons, they are, make fantastic wadding for getting the cannonball down. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Damn. Right, Damn. Um, I will, uh, I'll answer this question that you guys in chat uh, possibly know Adam. Uh, he's a streamer over with, loading, with us at Loading Ready Run. Uh, he, he's always joked about the way he would raise his child would be, uh, step one, name it Xerxes, uh, regardless of gender. Step two. That's really, that, that works either way. That's step two, put Xerxes in a soundproof room for the first eighteen of their his or her life, and pretend that they can't like he can't speak. Feed them nothing but ketchup and mustard, and then on their eighteenth birthday, drop them off in the middle of Times Square. Apparently. Oh. <laughs> wow. Wow, that's so weird. Oh. Isn't weird that weird? weird? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, uh, these are all terrible parenting ideas. Yeah, they are. There are some fun ones, like only teach them how to write upside down and backwards. <laughs> <laughs> that was just basically babies. Yeah, that's true. All right.